looking at the definition of a parabola and how to relate this definition to an XY coordinate system. Let's take a look at what a parabola is. A parabola is the set of all points in the plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix and a fixed point not on that line, which is called the focus. Let's take a look at this illustration to show you what that means. Here what you see is uh, the graph of the parabola showing the line called the directrix and the point called the focus. Now according to the definition of the parabola, any point on this parabola is the same amount of distance to the focus as it is straight down perpendicular direction to the uh, directrix. Let's take a look at the equation that arises from this. The equation of a parabola. The equation of a parabola with focus h comma k plus p and directrix y equals k minus p is given by y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k where a equals 1 over 4p and hk is called the vertex. Let's take a look at this next example. Find the equation of the parabola with focus negative 1, 3 and directrix y equals 2. So in order to start this problem, what we need to remember is that our directrix has a y value of 2 and our focus has a y value of 3. So since these are one unit apart, our value for p in this problem will be 1 half, or the distance between them divided by 2. So now we know that p has a value of 1 half. From here, using the equation a equals 1 over 4p, we can substitute in the p equals 1 half and get 1 over 4 times 1 half, which is 1 over 2. So now we know our value of a is equal to 1 half. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to find the value of the uh, vertex. So knowing that, again, the y value of the directrix was 2 and the y value of the focus was 3, the, fo uh, the vertex is the y value that lies in the midpoint between them. So 2 plus 3 divided by 2 gives us 5 halves. So now we know the y value for the vertex is 5 halves, but that's referred to as k. So the last thing we need to do is figure out what the x value is that goes with that vertex, but since the focus lies on the x value of negative 1, the vertex will also have the x value of negative 1. So that tells us that the value of h is equal to negative 1. So taking our value of a, h, and k, and substituting them into our equation for the parabola, we know that y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So for this parabola, y equals our value of a, which we found to be 1 half, x minus h. We found h to be negative 1, so that's x minus a negative 1, which is x plus 1. Square that, and then plus the value of k we have, which is 5 halves. Then if we want, we can take this equation and we can multiply it out. So we'd end up with y equals 1 half the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 5 halves. And then we can take that one step further with, well, we left off with y equals 1 half x squared plus 2x plus 1, all that plus 5 halves. And now distributing the 1 half, we get y equals 1 half x squared, and then 1 half times 2x is x, and then 1 half plus one, times 1 is 1 half, and then bring down the 5 halves. So for the equation, we finally get that y equals 1 half x squared plus x, and then 1 half plus 5 halves is equal to 3. So that's our equation. Let's try another example. Here we're asked to find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix of the graph y equals 2x squared plus 12x plus 5. In order to start this problem, we'll make use of completing the square to get the equation the form we need. So the first thing we'll do is we rewrite it as y equals 2 times, and then we'll only pull the 2 out of the first two terms, so that'll give us x squared and then plus 6x, and then we'll bring down the plus 5. And now we'll complete the square by asking what's the appropriate value to put in this position so we have a perfect square trinomial. We find that by taking the value of the uh, coefficient of the x, cutting it in half, and squaring it. So half of 6 is 3, and when we square that, we get plus 9. So even though we're, we're doing what seems like adding 9 to this side, 
Remember, this 9 is really being multiplied by a 2, so effectively we're adding 18. So to keep it balanced, we have to subtract 18 from the side of the equation as well. Now we'll go ahead and factor that, so we end up with 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 squared, and then positive 5 minus 18 gives us negative 13. So from this, we can tell the vertex. The vertex of this parabola is the point uh, found from hk. In this case, h is going to be negative 3, and k will be negative 13. So our vertex is negative 3, negative 13. And then, since we know that 1 over 4p equals a, our value of a is 2. So solving this, we find out that p equals 1 eighth. So now, to find the, uh, the focus and the directrix, we need to go to our y value of negative 13, and the focus will be negative, I'm sorry, negative 3, then it'll be negative 13, and then from that we have to go um, up 1 eighth, so we'll add a value of 1 eighth. So that focus becomes negative 3, and then negative 13 plus 1 eighth is equal to negative 103 over 8. So that's the value of our focus. And then the last thing we need to do is find the directrix, but the directrix will come when we take our y value of negative 13 and we subtract the 1 eighth. So we get the directrix equals negative 13 minus 1 eighth, and that gives us the value, or the equation of the directrix, I should say, of y equals negative 105 over 8. Now it's your turn to try an example. Why don't you read this one and give it a try? Find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix of the graph of y equals 5x squared plus 30x. Give this a try. Check back with me when you've completed it. All right, let's see how you've done with this one. The first thing you should have done is you should have started by completing the square. So to complete the square of this one, we'll have that y equals, and we'll factor out the 5 from both terms, and we'll get x squared plus 6x. Okay, so now what we need to do is find out what's the value that goes here. So again, by cutting the 6 in half and then, and then squaring it, we get 3 squared, which is 9. So since we're adding 9, Remember, that's really not a 9, it's really a 9 times a 5, so we're really adding 45 here. So at the same time, we have to subtract 45. So now, factoring this equation, we get that y equals x plus 3 quantity squared minus 45. From this, we can read the vertex right from the equation. So the vertex has the value negative 3, negative 45. Now we still need to find the focus and the directrix, so to find those we're going to have to find our value of p. So we know that 1 over 4p is going to equal a, and our value of a here is 5. So that tells us that p has to have the value of 1 over 20. This parabola opens up, so the focus is going to be negative 3, and then we're going to get the value when we simplify it, negative 899 over 20. And the directrix will be the line y equals negative 901 over 20. So there's your vertex, your focus, and your directrix. We can also do problems like this without making use of completing the square. Let's take a look to see how we would do that. We can use the x coordinate of the vertex is equal to negative b over 2a, and a is equal to 1 over 4p to determine the focus and the directrix without completing the square. Let's try an example that makes use of this. Here we're asked to find the vertex, the focus, and directrix of the parabola, y equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 5 without completing the square, and determine whether the parabola opens upward or downward. We'll first start by finding out what the x-coordinate is of the vertex. So that's found by doing x equals negative b over 2a. So in this example, x equals negative b over 2a would be negative, and the b value is 2 divided by 2a, the a value is negative 1, so we've got negative 2 over negative 2, 
which is equal to 1. Now to find the y coordinate of the vertex, we need to take this value of x and substitute it into our equation. So y would equal negative 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 5. And that gets us negative 1 plus 2 minus 5, which is negative uh, 1 plus 2 is, is positive 1, and positive 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So we get the y value is negative 4. So our vertex here is the point 1 comma negative 4. Now in order to continue and find the focus in the directrix, what we need to do is make use of our other equation. So remember, we know that A is equal to 1 over 4P. And in our problem, we know that our A value is negative 1. So negative 1 equals 4, I'm sorry, negative 1 equals 1 over 4P. So this tells us that P is equal to negative 1 fourth. Now the focus is a fourth of a unit below the vertex, so that will give us the point, uh, the following point for the focus, which is 1 comma negative 17 fourths, and the directrix will be 1 fourth of a unit above the vertex, so that will be the line y equals negative 15 over 4. Now, we were also asked to go ahead and make a graph of this. So let's sketch this graph from the information we have. We know that the vertex is 1, negative 4. So here's our vertex. We know that the directrix was a little bit above that, a fourth unit above that, and that was at y equals negative 15 fourths. So that would be a horizontal line. at y equals uh, negative 15 fourths. And we knew that the focus was a fourth of the unit below that, which would place the focus here. So since our parabola is equidistant from the, ver uh, from the directrix, directrix and the focus at all times, this parabola will open downward. Let's go ahead and try another example. Here we're asked to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercepts, focus, and directrix for the parabola x equals y squared plus y minus 6. Sketch the graph showing a focus and a directrix. Well, the first thing we'll do in this parabola is we'll notice that a has the value of 1. So we can start right away by saying a equals 1. Now, uh, since we know this, the parabola is going to open to the right. The y-coordinate of the vertex is going to be given by negative b over 2a. So in this case, y equals negative b, which will be negative 1, over 2a. And a in this case is also 1. So the y-coordinate is negative 1 half. To find the x-coordinate, we'll have to substitute y into the original equation, which will get us negative 1 half quantity squared plus a negative 1 half minus 6. Working that out, we get that the x-coordinate is negative 25 fourths. So now we have the vertex, negative 25 fourths, negative 1 half. From here, the next thing we'll want to do is find the y-intercepts. So again, starting with x equals y squared plus y minus 6, to find the y-intercepts, what we'll do is set this equal to 0. So y squared plus y minus 6 equals 0. And then factoring this, we get that y minus 2 times y plus 3 equals 0, which tells us that y has a value of 2 and y has a value of negative 3. And these are our y-intercepts. From here, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and find um, the... Uh, axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry, since this parabola is pointing to the right, is given by the y-coordinate from the vertex. We found that y-coordinate to be negative one-half, so in this problem the axis of symmetry is y equals negative one-half. The next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to find our focus and our directrix. 
To do that, we'll have to make use of our equation, A equals 1 over 4P. Now in this problem, we know that A is equal to 1, so 1 equals 1 over 4P, and that tells us that our value of P is equal to 1 fourth. So to find the focus, we know that it's 1 fourth units to the right of our x-coordinate for our vertex. We found the x-coordinate of our vertex to be negative 25 fourths, so down here we're finding the focus. So the x-coordinate was negative 25 fourths on the vertex, and now we have to move 1 fourth of a unit to the right. So that gives us negative 24 fourths, and that's equal to uh, negative 6. So we know that the x-coordinate for the focus is at negative 6, and it will share the same y-coordinate, and that will be negative 1 half. So the focus is negative 6, negative 1 half. The last thing we need is the directrix. So to get the directrix, again, we'll start at our vertex of negative 25 fourths, but this time we'll move to the left 1 fourth of a unit. So we'll subtract 1 fourth, and negative 25 fourths minus 1 fourth 13 halves. So in this case, the directrix has the equation x equals negative 13 halves. Putting all this together on a graph, here's what we know. The vertex was at negative 25 fourths, negative 1 half. So negative 25 fourths, just a little past 6, then down 1 half. So that gives us our vertex. Our directrix was the line x equals negative 13 uh, negative 13 halves. So when we draw that, negative 13 halves is this line. Our focus was one fourth of a unit to the right of this. And we found that to be at negative six. And we found our x-intercepts, I'm sorry, our y-intercepts to be at negative uh, zero, negative three and 0, 2. So our parabola will open to the right and go through those intercepts. In this lesson, you've seen how we've defined the parabola. You should continue by practicing the examples in your textbook, and I'll see you next time.